Uh, speaking of cinematic universes, um, somebody's gonna get mad about this, okay? Just right off the bat. Um, there is a cinematic universe of Bruin, and I'm not a fan of it. I don't think it's got a whole lot going for it. Uh, maybe you're familiar with the work of Maximum Studios. No, sorry, sorry. Extreme Studios. Mm -hmm. I said that wrong. That's the wrong one. This is the uh, sort of private studio of Rob Liefeld. Rob Liefeld, you might know, as he's frequently billed these days, following the success of the Deadpool movie, as the co-creator of Deadpool. Uh, Rob Liefeld also just drew a bunch of dudes with weird feet and huge muscles in the 90s. He's a... a okay comics artist. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be professional I know, here. I, know. I see you. I see you. So he has teamed up with a guy named Akiva Goldsman, uh, who's kind of a known producer about Hollywood, and they are working on the extreme cinematic universe. And that might sound like the most '90s ass thing you've ever heard. And if that's the case, that's uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, extreme Studios is '90s is all hell. Uh, you might know some of the characters, such as uh, Young Blood. Uh, that's one of uh, one of Rob Liefeld's original teams. They're um, Nothing, nothing like the X Men or the Avengers. Not one bit. So what do we got? What's going on here? We I'm got, not even gonna. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. I remember these guys. Yeah, that's Bad Rock in the back. The rest of them I didn't really bother to look up their names. But um, anyway, uh, then of course there's uh, God. What it's Bloodshot, I think. Dable. I don't know. Yeah, and then of course there's uh, another band called Blood Pool. Um, what? Yeah, I know. Uh, and. So Akiva Goldsman, meanwhile, is known for his, you've, you've seen something he's done. He frequently does movies in which uh, Will Smith is in them, and it has uh, the letter I in the title, such as I, Robot, or I Am Legend. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also done stuff uh, more comic book related, such as the hit film Jonah Hex, which everyone saw and loved, and which was not a critical and commercial failure. Just kidding, it was. Um, but hey, I mean, that's not all bad. He's also been attached to some other beloved superhero films, such as Batman and Robin and Batman Forever, which he wrote. Uh, Great and then, nipples. Um, yeah, good old bat nipples. Um, and then, uh, yeah, he also uh, did the Lost in Space movie. So clearly he's well-versed in the realm of adaptation of things that are beloved and doesn't do things that make people upset and mad. Uh, he's recently attached to uh, the Rob Liefeld character, Evangeline, uh, who's... I bought... I bought this first issue uh, as a joke at like a dollar store. Uh -huh. uh, it's basically if you took uh, Spawn and made him a hot chick. That's kind of the premise of the of the comic, except Spawn is like really, really well drawn. And uh, yeah, basically um, Rob Liefeld and Akiva Goldsman is, is, not a, is not a great partnership. And uh, the only way I see this working out is if they lean really hard into the campy 90s B-movie ass side of things and we get something that's like a super duper big budget Batman and Robin that knows how dumb it is and everybody just has just hundreds of pouches all over them. What if they have hundreds of pouches but they also like they do weird CG to their legs to make them like look weird and chunky and stuff Funky like legs. That. Funky legs. Like they're all like yeah. top heavy. I'd watch that. Like that so, seems weird. My dream is to see a Rob Liefeld character directed by Quentin Tarantino because Rob Liefeld famously can't draw feet and Quentin Tarantino famously has a foot fetish. <laughs> 